Hey everyone, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway, bringing you a reading for the week starting the 8th of October. It's a stunning day today here in Melbourne, uh, Australia, and really, really starting to enjoy the beautiful spring weather coming about. It's also been really, really busy and uh, I've actually been finding the last couple of weeks of just been go, 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 go. But it's really, I think, it's like, um, I feel like at some point I was being held back like a big elastic band and it's like just being shot now and it's starting to all, um, things are starting to come into play and are starting to, the, you know, the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together as well. So um, this morning I found myself putting the final touches to the second edition of the Sacred Geometry Healing Cards that will be coming out next year, uh, actually through America, which will be amazing because uh, the US really haven't been, uh, had my cards over there yet and the way that it's um, doing it now, uh, the, it will now be available and a lot more accessible for those in the US as well as throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, cards are still available though as well through my website as well as um, uh, all good bookshops and new age shops as well. So where does it leave us uh, with the energies of now? And I pulled a few cards before and the first card that came through is grounding and anchoring. The second card to come through is dream weaver. And the third card that has come through is raven magic. And I know for myself, I just look at these cards and I go, absolutely, yes, this is the energy of right now. And what these cards are talking about is the importance of really grounding, keeping grounded and um, anchoring you, um, not only anchoring um, that light body of yours here, but it's about anchoring the ideas and the concepts and all these new beginnings that are coming through right now for many of us. Um, there are so many changes that we are going through on so many different levels and I know, you know, it's taken me years and I'm probably my own worst enemy um, and most people who know me will, will also say that because I, I see myself as the perfectionist or I have to do everything with such perfectionism and that, you know, I get to a point you know, um, that things, I think things aren't good enough and then I, I find that I'm absolutely blinded by my own bullshit basically and you know what I'm really realizing and this is what I, you know energetically so much has changed is that I am successful I have done really really well for myself it's not about not being successful it's about learning how to create the changes and ways in which bringing my work through that it will get noticed a lot more and um, making it more uh, accessible for those worldwide and those who are following me. And it's also about bringing through, for example, for myself, um, bringing through workshops again and what I really see myself doing, hopefully next year is um, bringing through some transformational tours because that is where my interest lies. So, the reason I haven't really done anything in terms of um, running workshops, for example, is um, I, I question, you know, is this where I want to be? Is this what I want to do? And for me, you know, I just feel that there's so much more opening up for me. So it's really important then for me to anchor um, these concepts that I have and to really anchor them, I also still need to release this, um, this fear of, of not being worthy enough and um, this fear of, of judgment by others and 
just start seeing that I have everything I need within myself. And the reason I'm talking about this now is because I know that I'm not the only one that, that experiences these things. And, you know, it, it's also those issues for me that go even deeper. Um, say, for example, with abandonment and not being seen and you know i know that this is not true and these are my concepts these are my belief systems that i've created and i am very much a believer in past lives so i do believe that it is stuff i've also brought through throughout lifetimes and um, until i actually get it these lessons are going to keep coming up for me as they will for um, everyone you know for others that are also experiencing um, holding on to belief systems that no longer serve them sorry I feel like I've gone off on a little tangent but really I haven't because I think it all interlinks because when we bring in Dreamweaver Dreamweaver is all about our foundations and spider builds her web she is in control of building her home and as easily as she can build her foundations she can pull her foundations apart and she can rebuild anywhere she likes. So there's a lot of strength in this card. It's also talking about releasing fears that are holding us back from building those foundations that we're here to create. But we're also manifesting and we're working with spider, we're working with, with the number eight and eight is all about manifesting. Um, it, it is as above so below so we're bringing in that balance as well but we are manifesting so be very clear on what it is that you want to bring through in this lifetime what it is that you are creating and what you are creating right now um, on your journey in this present moment in this physical body that we are in so we are in charge we can create this and um, you know there is so much out there for us the third card to come through is raven magic and raven magic in itself there's actually um, it's, it's already about stuff that we've been talking about so it's about releasing those fears releasing those belief systems that aren't um, that aren't uh, serving us it's it's the shadow aspect of ourselves that hold us back um, because we're not dealing with it it's about you know it's it's like you can see with the feathers that from the darkness into the light so it's being able to release that shadow self bring yourself into the light release those beliefs limiting belief systems that hold you back um, letting that go and as we're doing that we're also heightening our intuition because we're starting to listen and we're going into um, you know where we're going within that introspection and we are finding that we are connecting so much stronger to spirit as well and we're starting to really go with our gut and our intuition and listening more so in actual fact that we are going to make so much better um, decisions for ourselves uh, right now and it's also about protection so we also just a little uh, message as well that as we're doing this very important to protect your energy um, so the cards this week are really, really beautiful. And I think I say that every week, but I really, for me this week, I'm, I really appreciate these cards this week because I really see how they resonate even for myself. So, um, you know, remind yourself to, to keep grounded, to anchor in those ideas con and concepts, releasing the belief systems, um, the uh, outdated belief systems that no longer serve you. And it's working stronger with your intuition, but it's about us creating and manifesting the life that we wanna live. Um, you know, it's about laying our foundations and, and manifesting it all in. So wherever you are in this world, have a beautiful, beautiful week. Um, nurture and honour yourself and we'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye.